So let's open one of the filters we have uh, on examples. So let's click on open examples, HFSS, RF microwave, and let's open this BP filter. BP stands for band pass filter. So the only thing we're going to do here is expand analysis setup one, sweep one, double click and change from fast to interpolating. Um, click OK, go to simulation, analyze all. So after the simulation finish, you can open here in results and double click this report, you see uh, both insertion laws and return laws of the filter. Roughly goes from one to two gigahertz, the pass band. So what we want to evaluate now is to create a code simulation, create something in circuit. So let's go to project, uh, insert circuit design. Hit OK. And the first thing we're going to do here is create a very simple circuit. Let's go to independent sources and select V underline scene, which is a sinusoidal uh, voltage source. You drag and drop to schematic. You can change the properties here uh, on the left hand side, or you can double click. I'll just double click, change the amplitude to uh, one volt. Uh, frequency, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to say this is FR. When you hit OK, it's going to ask, hey, this is a frequency value that I need. Uh, let's say 1.5 gigahertz, right? And let's hit OK. So I have these uh, source. I'm going to put a grounding here, another ground here on the other side. Press ask and let's just put a, you know, a 50 ohm resistor in here. So you can just uh, connect those, the source to the resistor. You can expand here and right click on analysis, add Naxim solution setup, transient analysis. And let's run this for uh, 100 nanoseconds and hit OK. Um, if you want to see the waveform, let's right click here and analyze. Um, we can right click in results, create standard report, rectangular plot, and then uh, you create new report. So that's the waveform. Uh, it's uh, 1.5 gigahertz, uh, one volt amplitude. Uh, you can also plot the spectrum. So you can right click here on results, create standard report, rectangular plot, change domain from time to spectral. Um, and then uh, you can change the maximum frequency to something like uh, two gigahertz. You can change the window type, rectangular, Henning. Uh, let's do Henning, okay, new report. Okay, 1.5 gigahertz. So what we're going to do now, let's double click here on circuits to go back to the schematic. Uh, we want to add the filter in here, right? So I'm just going to select this wire. I'm going to delete. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here on HFSS Design 1 and drag that to my schematic. So I have the filter here, okay? Um, I'm just going to connect this. You can uh, click here and check if this is NAT1. So this is the input and this is NAT2, the output. So for example, here, uh, going back, back to the plot, uh, you can right click and uh, click on VNAT2 and click add trace. That's the output of the filter. Since we, we need to simulate, it's not going to show up uh, the results here. One thing that you can do is change the X axis. Uh, one thing that is really nice if you click here on time or any of these number on the x-axis go to uh, Cartesian there's option show axis scroll bar so when you enable this and you place your cursor here you see that you know you you see this uh, arrow you can drag and drop um, you know to show something like this uh, you can right click here in Nexium transient analyze so the plot should be updated Okay, so we have now the input uh, and the output. You can click here and change the color. I'm just going to change this to blue. If you double click on the circuit, uh, you know, you can drag and drop the plots in here. So uh, I'm just going to resize the plots. Uh, this one and this one as well. So I have the both the spectrum and uh, also uh, the time domain waveform. So they are both here on, on my schematic. I like to put them 
um, you know, together. Uh, one thing that you might want to do, go back in here. Uh, let me go back and uh, do this. I can actually click here on the number again, and on scaling, I can click on specify and something like, I don't know, 30. So let's show this uh, 30 nanoseconds. So here you can actually see they have my schematic, um, you know, showing the time domain waveform, um, you know, before and after the filter and the spectrum. You can click here on circuit and change this to something like 0 0.6 uh, and right click on next trans and analyze. So you will see that now at the 0 0.6, uh, you know, the signal is very attenuated. And as usual, one thing that I like to do is to create tuning. Right, so again, go to circuits, design properties, uh, go to local variables, tuning, and you can include here, uh, you know, FR, FR with a minimum of uh, 600 megahertz, a maximum of 2.4 uh, gigahertz with a step of, uh, let's say, uh, 10 megahertz. Okay, so, um, you know, if you right click on Optimetrics, go to tuning, um, you can actually uncheck this browse available variations and you can drag uh, the value for this variable fr so you can see how it changes the waveform will change now you know between one two gigahertz um, you know and when it's attenuated from two to four and from six megahertz up to uh, one gigahertz